Hey everyone, it's Gemma Chappy Plans. Today I have a bonus video and I think this video may do pretty well because if I were you, I'd want to know. In fact, I'm me and I want to know. So what's the deal with these color dot markers and which ones are the best? I have a few different brands and we're going to take a test and see. So if you'd like to see what I'm going to do, stick around. <music> So I am a huge fan of the Zig Clean Color Drop Markers. I use them in every single planner spread, every layout, every insert for months. They're my goal to stand by, like can't live without them. So I do have the initial 12 pack of colors that you can purchase. I think they're linked to my Amazon storefront. I'm gonna pull the colors now so you can see what I mean. So that will be colors 036, which is called Blue Bonnet, 034, yep, okay, 034 is a denim, 301 is Splash, 081 Hyacinth, 064 Fawn, sorry it's taking me a little while to get each one because I have so many I have to like make sure they're the right ones, 091, this one's called Platinum, 206 Candy Pink, 021, hmm, is it this one yep salmon see they don't even match at all what's on the on this little bar here 207 is it this one yep island coral 503 which would be summer sun 402 this is called kiwi and last but not least 042 ocean. So this is the standard 12 pack if you purchase it all together in this little box from Amazon. And let's compare it with what I just shared on a flip through Friday haul. When I was at Michael's, I found these and my friend Casey says they work great. Uh, we're going to see, we're going to see. So these are the Michael's brand. These are $10. I'm not, I can't remember what these retail for. I want to say like 20 at least. Absolutely love these. And then bonus, I was just walking around Marshalls, not looking for anything, just went into the stationary section as always, and I found these. So of course we need to do a test with these. And really I picked these up because they are colors that I don't have. These are gonna be repeats and may end up in Nora's craft cart. But what I wanted to do was not just compare them, but see how they did on different papers. So this is a spare piece of paper I have from Jane's Agenda, which are inserts that I use for I used to use these for wellness and now I have a different Jane's Agenda weekly that I use for my work planner. And I do have a separate video on that as well. And then this is a an extra piece of paper from Casey, a pleasantly planned. But in her defense, she has switched, I think, uh, I can't remember, she switched printers. So you know, this is this is on the paper that she did have. I don't know if she switched papers or not, but we're gonna use this. And then I have two sheets of Happy Planner paper. This is the like OG filler paper and the quality of their paper used to be so much better. This is a piece of paper from a monthly layout from like a year and a half ago. So we might be here for a minute, but I thought this would be kind of fun <laughs> to see. I'm very curious, so let's just jump in. So I'm gonna go with the gray. Let me get a blank sheet, because I think, here, we'll do it on this one, and then we'll just do the tests quickly on the other pieces. So I should label them. Favorite pen, by the way, is the Needle Tip 0.7 Energel. If you want a bolder tip, it writes extremely smooth. I prefer it over the Sharpie because of the way I, it feels in my hand. So total personal preference. 
Um, but okay, so this is the Artist Loft brand. And then we can do the Zig. Okay. Oh, it's definitely not as, yeah. It doesn't give me, let me push harder. Okay. That's the one bullet end. And then th it's a dual tip. Oh, it's much broader, I think. Um, gray. Okay. I don't know how that shows up on camera. Yeah, you can see it. All right, so now I'm gonna tell you already, I know that this is darker. But, and this feels more firm to me than this bullet, this marker, but I've been using this marker for months, so that could be part of it. That's hard to know the difference there. Oh, and the, see the difference in the nib? So this is the Michaels one and then versus the Zig. So this is basically like a felt tip almost. I, wa I wonder if it is, does it say? Nope, it just says dual tip marker with a flexible dot and fine tip. Well, nope. Okay, clearly they have different caps. The Zig has the stripes. So let's see. Yeah, this is a much more fine, harder tip, and this is a softer, more flexible tip. So there's gray. And then, so that this video is not eight hours long, I am going to speed up the camera, put on some music, and just maybe do a voiceover um, while I compare these two. Here we go. Let's test all of the Artist Loft dot markers. I didn't know what the names of the colors were called for the Artist Loft brand, so I just made up my own. Um, as you can see, that quote purple dot marker is totally not purple. And I zoomed in so you can see better that the dot looks blue-gray and not purple at all. So that's definitely problematic and very interesting how the fine tip is the shade that it says it would be based on the barrel versus the actual shade of the dot end of the marker. So I'm just going to swatch all these out side by side comparison, varying the pressure and the sizes of the dots and that's it. Okay friends, so that is the comparison there. It is, it's hard to explain. Um, the colors are slightly different, so I'm going to stand up so I can see it in the camera, but there's the gray Michaels color, and it is definitely a different shade. This is a, has a bluer tone, and this has a more, I don't know, brown tone to it. It's warmer, and this is cooler. Um, and I did notice so far a few main things. It is much harder to get the different size variation with the Artist Loft pens. You do have to press much, much harder to get a larger dot, and it's harder to keep the sizes consistent because I feel like these nibs are inconsistently placed on the top. Um, these are much easier to take less effort, and therefore it's easier to control the size of your dot. But you can see the difference in color. And just looking at them like across from each other, they both seem to do the job, right? Like, if, if you're not going to be super crazy picky about the size of your dots or, like, it being the exact colors that you see on the right side and you don't mind these colors, then I think it's fine for $10. And if you have a coupon like I did, it's like, you know, six. So, substantial amount of savings, but quality definitely is less than the Zig markers. Um, it's interesting because the barrel colors look the same at, on both, for both brands, but they're obviously very different. And what was very interesting, I thought, was that this color here is from this marker. 
And those dots, my friends, do not look purple. They look like a light blue periwinkle, which is what a lot of the reviews said. But what was interesting is that the fine point is the color of the barrel and matches better with the zig marker color hyacinth so i wonder if that's an error and then that tells me that in this barrel the ink does not flow between the two sides whereas i think in this barrel they do so that's interesting i'm not gonna like cut it apart to take you know figure it out but that's my guess so you can see you know obviously the colors I think that look the most similar to me, the aqua and then the blue bonnet are fairly close, and the navy and denim, but these two are very different. This is like a light blue, and this is called splash. These are two totally different colors. That's definitely like a turquoise, and that one has more of a green tone to it. Um, the yellows look the same, the browns are pretty close, the corals are, hmm, see, this one's more pink. And this one's more orange but it probably isn't showing up on camera and then this michael's one is a paler shade of pink and the zig ones are a more neon so there you have it and then if i flip it over you can see the ghosting so there's actually a lot more ghosting with the artist sloth markers which surprises me because the colors are not as saturated as the zig markers my final thoughts on the artist sloth pens markers great deal for the price. The quality is obviously less than the Zig marker. It takes more of an effort to vary the size of the dots and the color is not consistent with the barrel. Uh, the difference in the dot end of the marker and then the writing part of the marker are pretty different at least in this one marker. The other ones all seem to be fine so I'm not sure what's up with that. But I think for the price, not bad. So let's open these puppies up and see what we've got. I don't think I've ever seen anyone use these. And this is the signature. I did look them up online. They're I only paid $8, y'all. So that's a really good price. Uh, they have a few other colors, but they're not, you know, it's in Marshalls. So who knows when and if you'll be able to find them, but I just figured I would show you. I'm not gonna do like a comparison necessarily, but I'll just show you what the colors are. So you can see. Okay, so that reminds me of the lime. And then, oh, this end is more of a fine tip, like the zig. These are not as easy to press on either but again again that could also be because they're new right it's hard to tell so what i like about these is that i do not have these colors and if i really wanted to be like okay i want to have different um different markers different shades i want all the colors i could these are slightly different from these but i'll probably end up just giving them to nora that's not as neon as the barrel, and I actually per like that it's not, and I like that color. I was like, hmm, that looks really bright compared to the rest of the palette. Um, and here's the gray. Ooh, this is very, very light. Yeah, I don't think I need to continue doing the marker end because it's, well, I'll just keep doing it. Why not? Ooh, that's really pretty. I love that green. Green's my favorite color. Okay, here's black. That one was easy to get the different sizes. Interesting. Hmm. There we go. I had to really press the blue. But as they're drying, they are looking to me slightly different than even these colors versus these. So that's interesting. Oh, I love that purple and I don't have, that's like a true purple. That excites me because I have this color, which is the hyacinth. And then from the um, bold pack, I have 
violet, which is, I'll just show you real quick so you can see. That's like, it's like a deeper eggplant. I think it's called violet, yeah. And then I also have this one from the Mild collection, Mild Smoky, and that one's called, and it's just one end, Wisteria. It does not have the marker end, which is fine because I hardly ever use it anyway, but. Okay, and then we have red. Pretty. Which that looks even different than the Zig Red, which is, yeah. So the Zig Red is a little bit more cherry and the Montmartre, 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 Mont Mont uh, dot marker is a little bit more berry. But maybe this one is closer to, yeah. So that one's closer to the red. This is a Zig. Okay, we got two more. Ooh, okay, so this one, interesting. Apparently that's the word for this video. Interesting is like this color of the Zig single dot marker, which is pale rose. Here, I'll do it on here. That's even lighter. And then this yellow one is the last one. Ooh, it's super pale. Not nearly as bold as the other brands. You can't even see really the fine tip side. Let's see. So these, here. These are all the ones from Marshall's. Montmartre. I'm not sure if I'm even pronouncing that right, but I just wanted to show you, just to show you. And you can keep your eyes peeled if you're like, oh, I really want these. So let's see. I'm not gonna do comparisons with those on the other paper. I just wanna do a couple on this other Happy Planner paper. And I'll show you, ooh, there's, there's some ghosting and a little bit of bleed through over here with the darker colors. But so far the artist's loft have bled through the most on the Happy Planner paper. Okay, so let's do, let's pick like, um, like a, a couple light colors. We'll do pink. We'll do like this corally red. Let's do this ocean denim. That's good. And see. And see what we got. So I'm gonna do this on the top. Hope this video is helpful for you because I was definitely curious myself. All right, and then on the bottom, I'm gonna do over here, I'm gonna do the artist loft ones. Oops, I did them out of order. Dun, 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 dun. So satisfying. I don't know, maybe I'll be selfish and keep these since they are a slightly different color. Like this to me is true aqua and that's called ocean, which is like, that's got more of a green hue. And then we have the denim. Okay. Let's see how they did. Okay, so there's hardly any ghosting with the, you can just see a couple there. And that's the denim. And then those are the artist loft. So there's more shadowing and ghosting and a bit of bleed through, just slightly, like not, yeah, ever so slightly with this one and this one. So now I'm gonna speed up the camera and do the same thing on the Jane's Agenda inserts and Pleasantly Plans inserts, and we will see at the end. I'll come back and talk about it.
Okay, friends, let's see what we see. Here we go with the Jane's Agenda. Ta-da! Okay, so much more... You actually have bleed through on this one and ghosting and like maybe a tiny bit of bleed through on this one. Right here, right here. And it is definitely still a little bit harder to use the artist loft pens to get different size dots versus the zig. Okay, and on the pleasantly planned inserts, we have the same thing. So there's like no bleed through at all. There's just more ghosting with the artist loft pens, which is totally fine. I think if you end up writing on the other side, ghosting's not a big deal, but bleed through can be. So. There you have it, friends. We have comparisons between Zig and Artist Law, and then the direct side-by-side -side comparisons with the colors. I hope this video was helpful. Um, personally, I prefer the Zig markers just because they are better quality. It is easier to get the different size dots and I'm just used to them but if I had never purchased them and just went out and got the artist left markers I'm sure that I would be totally fine using those instead and the colors are fine other than that one funky purple and this one doesn't look orange to me it looks blue or not blue good lord I was looking at this it looks uh more brown to me so it looks like this color and not orange so those are my criticisms those are my that's my feedback. I hope this was helpful. Let me know if you have questions in the comments below. I'll do my best to answer them. You can always DM me over on Instagram. And I have, like I said, I have these linked in my Amazon storefront. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Wanting to know the 411 on marker quality. I mean, what is life? <laughs> that we're sitting here convening over marker quality. So anyways, I do really appreciate you hanging out with me. Hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did like it, give it a thumbs up, subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss my content. And I will see you in the next video, friends. Take care and remember that you are enough. Bye-bye.